we're sailing towards an iceberg. This little white peak in the distance getting closer and closer, but really it's been underneath us the whole time. It's nothing worse than a kid. We have some bad news on the case. The print we lifted from the victim is from your son. There's gotta be an explanation. They go to the same school Jacob's in his class. Yes, we know that. Lynn, have you arrested my son? Before we begin, I want to make something clear. A kid your age charged with first-degree murder <laughs> is tried as an adult. I swear I didn't do it. We believe you. You have admitted to being in the park, and a fellow student alleges you had a knife you would bring to school. I guess so. They're saying he looks smug and remorseless. This is gonna follow him around for the rest of his life. It's a mistake. We're gonna figure it out. Do you have any doubts about Jacob's innocence? No, of course not. Where is the knife now? So you've been lying to me. I did what any parent would have done. Can't lead his fate up to the courtroom. My only job now is trying to protect our son. <laughs> We're prisoners in our own home, acting like we're normal. We are normal. Oh my God, do you think this is normal? We gotta get answers for ourselves. I know what you did! Lawyers have boundaries. I don't, not anymore. Remember that in their eyes, it isn't just Jacob who's guilty. You all are. Did you follow me here? This is damaging. This is evidence. You're scaring him. Good, he should be scared, I'm scared. I have to know. I want the truth! You can be a good man, or you can be a good father. There was no normal to go back to. It was just before and after.